Hi there, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team in part five of the new record build. Well, we've been real busy all week, seat cover and I. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding. First with 80 grit, then with 220, and then a final sand with 320. Seat cover even started helping. finishing up sanding on the wrecker's cab, seat cover was washing up some of the parts that we were going to use from the old wrecker. And I just got done spraying the primer. Should we take a look? How do you like my redneck makeshift spray booth? Well, there it is, all gray. And soon, it'll get a coat of red. Certainly not a show truck paint job, but it'll look good enough for the trail. Excuse the mess in my garage. It's been pretty hectic here lately. Oh, here we go. I was uh, sanding off my dash pad to put a cover over it, an overlay that I had laying on the shelf for years. And my memory must be slipping, because I could have swore it was for an 83 dash, which is the same as this 88. But when I pulled it out of the box to test fit it, it was for a... Uh, late 70s dash and wouldn't fit so now we're waiting on one of those another hundred dollars anyway while that's trying we're going to focus our attention on other things that need to be done we need to get this rear axle off of what's left of the old wrecker's frame so we can uh, do an upgrade to it that's kind of a surprise you'll see that later and then uh Put it under the new wrecker. the U-bolts and to uh, take the lift kit springs off at the spring eye bolts and put them underneath the other truck. Well, we have a little bit of a problem with that. The spring eye bushings on the other truck are all dry rotted out, so they need replacement. These are still in fairly good shape. And I don't know about you, but if you ever tried getting one of the spring eye bolts out of one of these older square bodied Chevrolets, it can be a nightmare. So we're going to cheat. We're going to cut the rivets 
and take the whole spring hanger and everything and switch it out from this frame to that frame. If you look close, you might notice that I'm torching off the rivet heads on the inside of the frame. That way, in case we get a little too overzealous and nick the frame, we won't hurt the spring hanger. The quickest way I found to get the rivets out is after carefully slicing the heads off with a torch, hit them with an air hammer while they're still warm. There's more than four on the rear spring hangers. There's actually six. We got four more to do.
now it's time for the front spring hangers. The cross member was kind of getting in my way, especially for the air hammer. I couldn't see any reason why we needed to save it, so out it came. Now we should be able to get at the rest of the rivets. Well, wouldn't you know it, I ran out of oxygen and I can't get another tank until Monday. So I guess it's time to move on to something else. Well, seat cover cleaned up the plastic panels for the interior, and I picked up some of this Duplicolor vinyl and fabric coating. So we'll give that a try. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, and we're gonna get back out there in the woods. Total redneck refurbish. Oh, that's some nasty smelling stuff.